Okay, today's workout, we're gonna be doing a pyramid workout, but we always wanna warm up no matter what we're doing. So the first thing that we're gonna do for our warm up is walkouts, the plank walkouts. So we're just going to walk it forward in our plank, engage our core, don't let our hips move, and then walk up, stand up. Again, walking out into a plank, don't let our hips move, keep our core engaged, plank and then walk our legs to our arms and stand. You're gonna do three sets of 10 with that. And then our next one is adductor lunges. So it's gonna be like a side lunge. We're going to just lunge into this leg and lengthen this guy. We're gonna tuck our pelvis and we're gonna really Bend into this leg until you feel the stretch. If you bend into this one, you're not gonna feel the stretch. So bend your hip into this leg. Hold for one minute. This one might cramp out. If it does, you can hold on to a chair while you're doing it. Switch sides. I'm gonna do this leg with you. Oop, this one's a lot tighter. So bend this hip so that you're lengthening this leg. Again, if I'm just like this, it's not going to stretch this side. So really, oh, I got it. Totally popped my hip capsule. Really, really, really lean into this leg. If you can't feel it, tuck your pelvis. Do that for one minute. And you might get a nice little pop like I just did. Because sometimes, the fluid in our hip builds up and we just need to pop. Okay, because I love monster walks so much. We're gonna do monster walks and we're gonna do them with a the band. So above the knees, this is just a light one. So again, yellow for normal bands of light. Shoot your butt back, get low. Keep your toes pointed forward, stay low. You can go forward, you can go backwards. Three sets of 10. This is one of the best things for yourself that you can do. You're activating your glutes, you're activating your quads, you're activating your back. It's amazing, we love multi-use exercises. So what we're gonna have to do is many exercises. Okay, now for the beast. We're gonna do a pyramid workout. So what that means is we're only doing three exercises today. But those three exercises, we're going to do all three of them twice, all three of them four times, six, eight, and then we're gonna come back down the pyramid. So six, four, two until we've done everything. So we're gonna start out with our bent over rows. Squat back, keep our hip neutral, so don't tuck in, don't tuck out, just neutral. Shoot our elbows back, and then lower your weight. I would suggest using a three pound weight if you're starting out because even if two is easy, eight's not gonna be easy by the time you get there. So we just did, well, I accidentally did four, but we did two. Now we're gonna do two overhead lunges. So for me, I have to up my weight for that. Remember, up and back, lunge, up. Up and back, don't let your knee come in front of your toes, two there. And then next, we're gonna do Russian twists. So come down onto the ground. If this hurts your tailbone, sit on a pillow. Give it a little extra cushion. You don't need to have your feet come off the floor. You can just do this, one, two. If that's too easy, then lift your feet up off the floor, one, two. Now we've gone through all of our exercises. Now we're gonna go through them again at four. So first thing to say first, bent over rows. One, 
two, three, four. There's our rows, over and done with. Now we're gonna do four lunges. One, two, up and back with our shoulders. Get low with our lunge. Russian twist. Actively use your core as you do that. Our rows. Ready? We're going to do six. Bend. Try and bring your shoulder blades together. I'm already breathing really hard. Okay, here, lunges. Remember, up and back. We got done with our six. We're almost to our eight, which is our hardest one. So let's do eight. Bend back, neutral pelvis, elbows back, squeeze. There's your eight. Now we're gonna do our lunges. Ready? And lunge as deep as you can while maintaining good up and back posture with your arm. If you need to lower your weight, go ahead and do so. That's okay. Engage your core as you do this, and it will help with your form with your shoulders. I forgot if we were on our eight set. I think we were. So now we're at six. Ready? Butt back. Pelvis neutral. We're gonna ski. Shoulders back. Two, three, five. Six. Got six there. Oh, I forgot my Russian twist. Let's go back into our Russian twist, eight. Two, three, four. Okay, lunges for real this time. Lunge back, up. Actually on my set from your Russian twist. Guys, we're at four. You're doing amazing. This is really hard work. I'm sweaty. I kind of love hate pyramid workouts. Oh. It's really like training you how to listen to your body. Like, do I hurt so bad? Oh, drink some water. Drink some water while we're here. My heart rate is super high right now, so this is great. My heart rate is 160. Okay. Shoot your butt out. Keep pelvic neutral. Elbows back, down, and back. Every time you go back, squeeze those shoulders. I got my heart rate high, and I'm not doing my max weight right now because I knew. 
bees kill me. So, be mindful of what your body can and can't do. Engage your core as you do your lunges. And then a Russian twist. As you do your Russian twist, don't flunk your back. Try and clear each knee. Last set. Last set. Okay. Shoot your butt back. Pelvic neutral, straight back. Shoulders back, elbows back. And one and two. Oh, we're done with those rows. And lunges. Your last two lunges. Engage your core. My core's on fire. Make sure your shoulders are up and back before you lift. Fire. Okay. Last two of these. Straight back. One, two. I can throw this weight away now. Yeah. We're done with that weight. Okay. Jeez, I'm out of breath. Okay, you're gonna do your pec opener. So just this one. Whew. I'm itchy now. You're gonna lay on your roll. It's gonna be your new vertebra. As you lay with this, have it between your shoulder blades. We want you to have your arms like a goal post here, and then your legs can kind of help you to stay off, your butt off so that it doesn't hurt your back. You're gonna hold this for a minute. You can move your arms, each one up and down, to see where you have the most tension. And then you're gonna stay there for a full minute and just hang. And open up your shoulders. <sighs> open up your shoulders and help you to lengthen that front part of your body. And then don't get up. St <laughs> Stay in that position on the mat, on your foam roller. While you're in that position with it between you, I want you to start here and then come all the way around and back. If that's too hard with this behind you, you can do it without. Just alligator arms here, all the way up and around. In fact, this is probably better, just do this. Wherever you feel a really big stretch, kind of stay there for a second, and then come back. And then you're gonna do on the other side, so. Alligator arms, all the way up, around. Oh, this side's better for me. This also is gonna help your joint range of motion with your arm, which is called your glenohumeral joint. You have multiple muscles that help in each range of motion there. So it's gonna help stretch each of those. Do three of 10. Do three sets of 10 on each side, because it's important. Okay, this I call the block stretch because you can do it with two blocks, but if you don't have two blocks, you can also use your roller. You are gonna come down into all fours. Put your wrists on your roller. I'm gonna try and scoot back so that you can see. And just roll forward until you feel the stretch. Down your back. You can do this on a foam roller, or if you have two blocks, or something like this that's the same size, you can put two blocks down, hold your arms together, and come down between those two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, you can do this on the back of a chair too. So fold your arms together here. Bring your elbows to the chair here. And then just 